AMS, acute mountain sickness, first level of altitude sickness. This is no joke, the hardest day of hiking I've had in years. It's gonna be a freaking awesome week out here. Woo! Pretty thick. We've Please. reached the top. Not really. We've reached the beginning of the hike. <laughs> and we're back. We're out here on the Colorado Trail. That was a quick intro. <laughs> yeah, see you later. Thanks for watching, <laughs> subscribe. Doing sections eight through 11. Pretty ambitious little section we have planned here, like 50 to 60 miles over the next uh, five days. Ending on a 14, we're going up Mount Elbert. Second tallest peak in the, uh, lower, well, the lower 48, I think. Rockies, yeah. So yeah, got a good crew here. All well abled bodies. Scott here from Endeavor Brewing. He's like a legit mountaineer. He's climbed like seven of the seven summits in nothing but a loincloth. <laughs> Andy's good. He's like in the midst of marathon training, so he'll be fine. I'm feeling good in the best shape of my life. And Kevin, uh, shit talking. Kevin's just Kevin. <laughs> so we're starting out going southbound here this is also the cdt we got a pretty easy day today about 10 miles uh, the next two days we're going to bang out probably like 15 but nonetheless a lot of elevation and uh we just did a big climb to get up to where we started uh, we're sitting about 10,000 feet right now we're not going to go really below that someone that lives at 900 feet uh we'll, we'll see how it does we'll see how these uh lungs hold up but super heavy packs lots of uh beer and spirits uh extra luxuries on this one I'm, i got about a 30 pound pack right now loaded up with everything which i haven't carried a 30 pound pack in probably like four years but i feel bad for kevin 37 pounder About five and a half miles in, we're about 11,500 feet. Uh, finally out into some exposure. Uh, we're gonna be crossing over one of these passes here in this mountain range beside us. Stopped and had a little lunch back there. I'm actually like, like I'm actually feeling kind of lightheaded, which doesn't really happen a whole lot. I kind of feel like it's attributed to uh, some parts elevation, others that my body is just like kind of still in like a recovery mode. Ran a pretty big ultra a couple weeks ago that my body is still recovering from, but going good so far. Probably about five or six more miles till we get to camp. No rush though. Almost at 12,000 feet, getting ready to go up this pass here behind us. Easily one of the most pic picturesque, <laughs> like open areas I've ever hiked in really really beautiful we're really getting our workout in the first day a lot of climbing uh really super heavy packs because we're still loaded down with a lot of food and stuff but tomorrow should feel significantly significantly better feeling pretty good the pack's not terrible like 30 pounds isn't as bad as i was kind of expecting it to be i'm holding it pretty well but uh elevation is definitely getting to me it's uh it's pretty crazy. I haven't really felt kind of this bad hiking in probably years. Uh, still just taking it in though. Taking my time, letting those, letting those guys kind of go ahead of me. So beautiful though. This is gonna be a freaking awesome week out here. 12,000 feet, finally came up on the, uh, the big uh, pass for the day. So first uh, big summit of the trip is done. Definitely feeling 12,000 up here. <laughs> beer number two, celebratory past beer. Really just just trying to lighten the load today. Oh yeah. I just filled up water to full capacity. Uh, probably less than a mile now to camp. 
I'm hoping. I tell you what though, I'm feeling it. This is, it's, it's gotta be a combination of just a really heavy pack today and um, the elevation just getting to me. My heart rate's just kind of racing. I'm not really having trouble breathing. It's just my heart and my head's kind of light, lightheaded. We're getting there. I'm gonna sleep freaking good tonight. This is no joke, the hardest day of hiking I've had in years. Uh, literally years. The trail, it's not terrible. It's just the elevation, I think. So, uh, just the height. Because the actual climbs, they're like nothing, nothing too crazy. But, great views here. I'd like to film a lot more, but I'm just beat right now. I can't wait to get to camp and set up. How you doing, Bryce? Sleepy. Yeah? I can pass out. You made it. The noon work? You seem to be powering through there at the end. You did great. We're proud of you. It's, uh, it's not ideal, that's for sure. Hopefully Bryce is doing okay. He's got to sleep it off. He's got to sleep it off. I didn't think about altitude sickness, but that kind of is the most obvious thing. But he's been at this altitude before with us and been fine. You know, altitude sickness can affect everyone differently yeah. every time. I didn't think so. about that. That's it. Good night. End of day one here in the Colorado Trail. So back on the trail here, new day in Colorado. Last night was rough, <laughs> like rough enough that I didn't even turn the camera on. I pretty much had uh, what Scott was explaining to me as AMS, acute mountain sickness. Uh, it's kind of like the first level of altitude sickness and it was pretty bad and honestly like I kind of felt it as soon as we hit the trail. I kind of felt little bouts of lightheadedness. It really got bad once we crested that first pass at 12, uh, 12,000 feet and we were up there for a few hours too so uh, by the time I got to camp it was really rough. Everybody's setting up. I just put my chair up and pulled my hat down over my face and sat there for 10 or 15 minutes trying to get over it a little bit and it just it got it got really really bad to be honest. I just had a lot less energy, uh, lots of like nausea, a lot of lightheadedness, kind of felt like passing out, throwing up. I, I had no urge to eat. I really couldn't eat at all even though I knew I should have. I was just like picking at like gold fish, goldfish crackers and stuff, just barely being able to get anything down because I just felt like I was going to throw up. It was horrible. It, it really was. I uh, went to bed super, super early, probably like 7 o'clock and just tried to sleep, sleep out of it. Special thanks to these guys too. At one point I just had to tell them like, guys I'm hurting like because they they all have more uh, experience with these kind of elevations than I do uh, especially Scott too he's done some serious elevations so I figured I better let them know that it, it was getting really really bad and special thanks to them they really helped me through it they hung my they helped hung my food up last night yeah slept it off felt a little kind of hungover this morning despite not drinking any alcohol last night I feel really good now uh, especially now that we're dropping down we camped at about 11,000 feet uh, going down to like 9,000 so I think my uh, body's gonna enjoy that a little bit better than 12 like I didn't feel it in my lungs it was just really up in my head uh, a lot of headache stuff but gorgeous views out here this is it's starting to open up here again oh it's super overexposed there we go come on cannon and he's got to blow out them highlights fingers crossed that this doesn't come back again today i'm just kind of try to uh, drink more water eat more food and electrolytes i uh, just kind of keep an eye on it more you know every good story's got like a uh like a conflict and resolution, and this conflict came a little bit too early in this trip for my liking, so we'll just hope that's it. Going through the aspens here. What do you think, one organism? Yeah, this is likely just one big plant. Many people feel the largest organism on Earth is actually an aspen grove that they've logged as hundreds of square miles. This, you can see, they're all kind of the same size and height, and what that means is these are probably all the same plant. You might have two or three in here, but they could all very well just be one big plant. That's all crazy. growing up together. Oh, wow. Holy <laughs> Bryce, nuts. I gotta be on the lookout for a good, a new banner shot for us. Yeah, this okay. This isn't bad. Yeah, I want to get one up on yeah. the up uh, pass though. Just popped out of the trail right here by this road. 
We're gonna be heading down that way, I believe. Pretty sweet road walk. And then, as really far as bad mosquitoes. As far as road walks go, this is about as good as it gets right here. Unless you don't like the sun. Uh, okay, here's the next comment. Hopefully you brought something for mosquitoes because the unholy death swarms that follow you through the entire section will die on anything exposed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. so I'm gonna be hiking in fleece pants. We've heard rumors and he's reading reviews right now. Tons of mosquitoes uh, in section nine. It's, it's supposedly really, really bad. So here's these uh, World War II bunkers that we were reading about. It's really long. It's pretty crazy. We're in a like a uh, world. I can't say that World War II like training area. So there are like signs back there at the road crossing uh, for like unexploded mines and stuff like that. So you're not really supposed to camp like off trail that aren't like not in already established campsites. So uh, yeah, that's cool. And there's also like some big craters and stuff that I saw in some videos that we're gonna pass by from uh, already exploded mines and bombs. Everybody pick a room. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. We could just live here. Yeah. End the trip and just hang out here for four days. Yeah. So we're just stopping for a lunch here. We've been sitting here for like 20 minutes now. Uh, we have another water source here in like six miles and then we're gonna start looking for a camp uh, pretty soon after that. There's supposed to be like really, really bad uh, like mosquitoes for like a 10 mile segment coming up. So we're gonna cut today a little bit short. We're still gonna do like, I think 12 miles, somewhere around there total. Yeah, so it's gonna be a pretty early day at camp tonight, which is nice so we can indulge in some of our pleasures and lighten these packs that are still like ridiculously heavy. Day two in the books, found this sweet little uh, campsite here in the pines, or, are these pines? Yeah. Okay, they're pines. <laughs> Got about 10 miles in for the day, so hopefully that'll set us up good to uh, go over Tennessee Pass tomorrow and then go through Mosquito Hill. So we'll push through that, hopefully get out of that for tomorrow's camp, but nice little fire pit, probably not gonna use it though. Uh, I don't know if there's fire bands right now, but I know everything's super dry and with all the wildfires, none of us really even want to take the chance. So just going to go ahead and get set up here and have a much more enjoyable evening than I did last night. All right, all set up here, just chilling in our chairs. Shill Brothers. Yeah, yeah. Bryce still has oh yeah. It. So, so if you guys don't know these guys already, these are the Shill Brothers Outdoors YouTube phenomenon channel. Make sure you guys go check them out. Uh, they're making videos out here too. And Scott from Endeavor Brewing, he has a YouTube channel as well. He supplied me with this shirt uh, for this week. Let me test it out. Yeah, go uh, check out his channel too. I'm gonna link them all in the description below. So go check them out and subscribe. He's taking a poop right now. <laughs> Scott's Scott's taking a poo poo. So I'm gonna give you a little camp tour here since I showed you nothing at last night's camp. So uh, first off, we got Scott over here in uh, an old MSR MSR tarp with a little, uh, like pretty much like a bug bivy. I have the Six Moons Designs Deschutes tarp with a Serenity net tent under there. Kevin's over here right beside me. And the Z-Pax Altiplex, is that right? It is right. The Altiplex for the big and tall. And uh, we got Andy over here behind in the Dutchware Chameleon. So really, really nice campsite out here. Tons and tons of spots. So uh, we're just really enjoying this one. We got many, many hours to chill here today till we prepare to go through the hellhole of mosquitoes tomorrow. 